Okay, this tutorial is going to go over the advanced scan features under each one of these scan a document locations. Um, scan a folder PDF, scan a folder Word, scan a folder Excel, and scan an email PDF. They all have advanced scanning options. And to access any of those, you should select one of the keys. And then here under your scan settings, you'll see some default settings right here. But once you click on it, you can go in and make changes to the document. There are some very important settings in here. Um, resolution, by default it's set to 300 dpi. Of course you can change that if you like. Change it to what you prefer. File format, you would probably want to leave this one set to what it is, just for the fact that it's already doing a conversion on the back end to the document type that you've selected. Um, right above that that I skipped was the scan type. By default it's black and white text line art. If you did want to scan something in color, you can select the arrow down and select full color text photo or full color gloss photo. It's recommended for Excel documents and Word documents that you leave it set to black and white text. Original orientation, of course you can change that, portrait or landscape, just select that option. Important one here, two-sided, if you want to scan both sides of your document, make sure you want to select this option here. Top top means it's going to your document would read like a book. Top bottom means it would flip like a calendar. So you just need to make sure you're selecting the right option there. 90% of the time it's going to be top top. Density, auto density, this just means that it's, you know, how light or dark is your original. If you need to lighten it up, just take it back a bit if it has some background on it. Scan method, ADF, that means you're putting it into the document feeder or you can put it on the exposure glass. It's going to auto detect which one you have it in. So if you place something on the glass, it's going to detect that. If you have it in the document feeder, it's going to detect that. Um, batch mode is important or SADF. They, they actually work very similar. You, under batch mode, if you have a document um, that is larger than what the document feeder will hold, you would select batch and then put your first set of documents in, click OK here, and scan in your document. The machine will wait for you to put in the rest of your documents. So you would put the rest of your document in, or the next set, and it's just, it explains it to you up here at the top. Set the next original and press the, press the start key, or press pound. If you're done, you press the pound key here, um, but if you have more to scan, press start. Okay, so now we've built a larger document. Once you're done, press the pound key, and then it'll send the document. Other options here under scan mode, um, our scan size. It's going to auto detect what you lay on the glass or what you lay in the document feeder, but if for some reason it's not recognizing your document size correctly, you can just manually select it here.